Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and we have a uh, an interesting topic and uh, challenge for us uh, ahead of us today in this episode. I want to uh, take a new system, go to a brand new system and go there and start colonizing it with the objective of making a rocket launching facility. So as we can uh, see here, this is our home system. You can see the Dyson Sphere is almost completed. And what we really want to do is now we want to get many more Dyson Spheres, especially like a big Dyson Sphere out in, well, somewhere. Uh, because we need a Dyson Sphere around a red giant for one of the achievements. And we need a Dyson Sphere that has, I don't know, one terawatt of power or something. So that means we need to find the star in our system here that has the most, the highest luminosity. And I have uh, located it. Where is it? Okay, there, that one. That's the one. Uh, we have renamed it to NASA, so if you want to find it, this is the one. It has a 2.452 luminosity, and that's where we want to go. It's a pretty good system because it has uh, five planets, one gas giant, gas giant, but then uh, five usable, six planets, one gas giant, and five usable planets. What we definitely want to do is we want to uh, hit the situation. Uh, I will be flying towards... Well, I'll be flying towards this. So let's uh, jump out there in the hyperspace and then we'll talk a bit about what it is I want to build in this location. Let's go here. Zoom in on this. All right. So the idea is uh, the inner ones, Swammer and Master Strats, will be dedicated to mining and smelting. Then you here will be used Hurricane Stone Forest. Oh, that's a good one. That means we can get a lot of the... Uh, of soil pile from this one, Hurricanes one. It also looks good. We will take this one and be that will be our primary builder. But before we can even build that, we have to go to another one. And I want to take Gloom and Rage because it's the one that's furthest away from the uh, sun and then have it be the launching facility. It doesn't matter that the distance, but the fact that it's longer means that I get these light, uh, the, the solar sails shooting and rocket launching to fly further before it actually reaches the, the star. So I feel that that looks pretty awesome. Uh, so we are going to get there and then set up some location. And let's uh, just jump to that location. Well, actually, while we are in uh, in orbit, then uh, I want to thank all the patrons for supporting the planet, the, not the planet, the channel. That is basically how the whole thing here is coming together. The fact that there are people supporting the channel. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for doing that. Let's see, we are landing on this planet and this is also a super beautiful planet. And uh, what is it called, actually? It's called Scarlet Ice Satellite. Scarlet Ice, really beautiful. And then we now we can look at how much we have here. This uh, is pretty good. There's 5 million, 5.9 million optical grading crystals. Finally, a place that has a decent amount of optical grading crystals. If we look at the inner ones, uh, this one has 31 and 27. So good numbers here. And Matrix as well. Also really nice number. It's a lava planet, so that's good. Uh, on you, what do we have? We yeah, have lots of wind, but Hurricane Stone Planet, that's great. Then we are going to like, take a look at Magmarel. This is Tidal Lock, which is perfect because we do need to find a Tidal Lock Planet and then place an artificial sun on the sunny, on the dark side of that. So now we have a Tidal Lock Planet that was great. Let's uh, skip ahead forward because we have uh, seen ourselves build the, Dy the Dyson Sphere Launcher here. And then we, have, we are also going to sort of build some more things. So let's uh, let's take a look at that once it's built so we can focus on the actual build of, uh, build of the rocket facility. Yes, that's it. It is at this point pretty easy to see that we have, uh, we have built some things. There are three continuous lines of uh, solar sails being shot at the star and we can see a smattering of rockets also being launched. And now, of course, we won't be able to sustain the rocket launching because we only have like this small rocket launching back at the home planet to, uh, to get us there until we have the new rocket facility that we are working on today. Get that sorted. Let's jump on closer so we can just see how this planet looks and uh, just marvel at the simplicity of it. Here we go. This is a very simple planet. It only has the exact things it needs. It has the hub so we can get started. It has the Dyson Sphere launcher. Both the blueprints are available. Those are things that are just super easy for me to stamp down and get in there. We've also started on the actual Dyson Sphere, so that's excellent. Uh, then what we really want to do is uh, look at, go to Liu, where we have uh, allocated some space for us to start building on. So let's jump there and get started on our build. 
And this is the planet. We have uh, allocated all of the top half of the planet for the build. The intention is that I want to build a design similar to our quantum chips where I use one third of this middle one and then have some supporting things up in the top and then we'll see how much we can build and then that leaves it basically for you to double triple quadruple whatever you want six tuple i don't know what that's even called but you can do that whenever you feel like i know that the unfortunate thing is that i'm going to lose titanium and copper basically that's the stuff i have here but i think that in the grand scheme of things i don't really care losing about the titanium and copper on this planet um, it doesn't have any rare resources that's the reason why this is a great one to select and also the hurricane forest means that we get a silly silly amount of uh, resources if we just try to find a oh, that one nope um, here just get a tiny bit here to fill up my inventory with this and we're gonna go here and then see how much we get it that's about a hundred thousand just from just smashing this through it is pretty damn cool how much we get in any case let's start with a build now what is it we want to build we want to build small carrier rockets so let's have a look at the production chain of small carrier rockets first and then see how much we want to make now small carrier rockets they are absolutely horrendous to make they require the so-called ninja stars or dyson sphere components two of those and they require four uh, deuterium fuel and then they require two more quantum chips so that is again more uh, more needed and let's see and that means if i want to build everything of course is going to be proliferated well not everything but most of everything will be proliferated and i think that i've been sort of contemplating different sizes and the idea is it's going to be 20 per second 20 rockets per second is what we're going for. That seems like an absolute uh, insane amount because it means 40. It means actually 32 quantum chips per second and we are only making 20 of those as well. So we'll, we'll need to go back. But so far, the quantum chips we built previously, they're just scaling up. So what is it we want to do? I don't want to make a separate build for quantum chips. I'll just request the quantum chips in because we know that we are now building it on a dedicated build and it's gigantic needed. Uh, that means the things we want inbound they will be on this one it will be the dyson sphere component that one and actually let me just try to illustrate it like this this will be the quantum chips there which will request in this will be the deuterium and deuterium is just something we craft so we'll craft deuterium and it needs for the turn here this is super important twice as much as the other one and then here we have the ninja stars so the ninja stars as well what are they going to be uh, composed of they are going to be composed of these three things that are also again things that i have to build so i need to make frame materials i need to make solar sails we have it built for solar sails but that's okay solar sails and the other one here is what was the last thing we wanted Frame material. Oh, hold on. Uh, processors. All right. Processors we have a build for as well. So processors, solar sails, and frame materials. Now frame materials, those are all things that we built. Have we can request in. So that's good. Solar sails. I could request that in, but for some reason I think I'll do uh, a dedicated build for this uh, because I'm going to use a lot of solar sails and I don't want to have this constrained by lack of solar sails in the network for other things. So we're going to be building a dedicated solar sails build for this part. Mm, yeah, okay, that's not going to be this. It's going to be one of these. There. Uh, it does seem a bit strange that this is something I could request in, but uh, I, I want to make sure that what I request in is stuff that is not being shared with other things. And then I make the exception here for the quantum chips because quantum chips is such a gigantic build. So this is what we want to build. And uh, it's it's going to be a bit of a tricky build. So I've been sort of contemplating what is a good way to build it. Because I, I did, um, previously I designed everything and then I started looking at it again. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to be designing the same thing pretty much the same way. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to do uh, down here. Hmm. I'm going to keep you just for the time being you will be doing one thing and that's one thing only and that will be bringing this in so that we can get that up to all the other locations here 
and that will be requesting ah uh, do we really think yeah we'll take put those 35 that's probably fine we get rid of a stack and i will be requesting this anytime now there the idea of this is as we've also done last time we want to make sure that we have a line that goes yeah but it has to be make sure do not stack it here that goes as far down south as we can uh, I think it might be at this location tap tap I think here and going in and then that will then go up to our builds now these builds I uh, have prepared them in advance of course I have and uh, that means I have now a full list. They will be available on the website as well. And uh, it is actually us for us to start building it. Oh, that sucks. It's not the wrong uh, icon. This should be a ninja star here. There we go. Now it's better. So we'll start with the small carry rockets. And uh, the, when you see it, you will also realize why I'm not going to design it. Because you will be uh, recognizing these builds from what we've done previously. Uh, the interesting thing about this is how much do we need? Well, if I build 16 down deep, 16 deep, then 16 times 4 is 64, and then it craft by 6 seconds, blah, 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 blah. This is 16, producing 16 per second. Whoa, things are coming in quick, aren't they? Yeah, some of these are coming in because we just I did some test builds, so there's, there's a bit of storage here. That's excellent. We can just, just cut some corners on that there and we get the proliferation in which obviously that should have been done first and let's see which one is that that is on that line did i guess correctly yes i did there and this one moves further over to the next build now this won't be doing anything at this point what we need at this point here is we need to build the ninja stars and we need to build the tutorial and we need to request the quantum uh quantum ships in funny how we are just not getting any quantum ships in huh i'm gonna have to take a look at that why we're not getting any quantum ships in Alright, so a quick jump over to the location here for the quantum chips. It turns out that what I'd done was I'd set the hydrogen as a requester and a requester. That meant that it had requested uh, 20,000. That meant that all of these had been uh, stack, stockpiled all the way up to, to full. And that meant it actually ran out because it was full of hydrogen, which is super, in, uh, super ironic that when you have a Casimir build and then right next to it, we have a uh, run been, uh, been fully stacked on hydrogen. So I just destroyed all the hydrogen and uh, let it get started again. You can see this one is just getting all the hydrogen in here. That's really nice. It should be keeping up. And you can see that everything that gets produced here will be shipped off immediately to the next production line down the down the line here and that means it's plain filters so it's uh, it's limping along and uh, that's unfortunately just the way it has to be right now until it sort of stabilizes it won't stabilize uh, at all because we're now starting to request this in higher quantity than it can actually be produced but you know it can always be doubled and uh, i might just do that so uh, but let's jump on back to the other planet so we can continue with the, our other build. This is looking good, isn't it? There's uh, some good progress on all the Dyson spheres. We should probably come look around at them at some point. In any case, let's jump on back to where we were. That was the Natsar system, our newest system that we are working on. Here it is. Let's go. And we're back here on our planet and ready to uh, continue our build. You can see 4,000 are already en route. Uh, they will, that means, the good thing is, it will start working. We have a tiny bit of uh, Dyson Spheres and Deuterium already pre-built as I was testing the designs. But that should not deter us from actually build, continue the build. So the first thing we, we looked at was the actual small carrier rockets. The subcomponents we need for the small carrier rockets will be, let's go back in here, because 
I have kind of forgot it, so maybe you have as well. Deuterion, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, or quantum chips, we are now requesting that. And let's build the Dyson Sphere component because that's kind of the bigger one. Now, if this one is producing 20 per second, that means it is actually producing 16 and then the proliferator takes care of the rest. So if there's 16 to be produced, that means I need 32 Dyson Sphere components inbound. All right, so we need to make a build for a Dyson Sphere component that is a going to be 32 Dyson Sphere, compo uh, Dyson Sphere components. Luckily, this one that we have ready at hand is taking care of, uh, let's see, make sure that it's the right place. It is on. Let's build it and see if it works. So look, oh, it is Dyson Sphere components. Uh, it should be 18 deep, four by 18. Oh, that, oh, that, of course, that's 72. So 4 by 18 is uh, 72, and 72 of these will produce 16.8 per second, and then that means we need... Oh my god, I just didn't do that, didn't I? Uh, sh go! A little too close. Never mind, good thing we have a lot of drones, and they are pretty quick right now. We'll try again. There. All right, we'll try it here. And again, this is 16.8. I'm going to put in this, and I'm going to put in this. And really, I shouldn't be doing anything until I have my build here done. Which will be at this location. Tap, tap. Because we want to make sure that things are proliferated. Before they actually go up. There. Yep, that's good. And let's see, what are we getting here? Uh, we want to request this and this. And yeah, looks looks good. Uh, the quantum chip, the processors, we have a few of those already built. But uh, that is, again, just something that's going to be built. And then we'll, uh, we'll need to make it properly. And we'll need to make two of these. So that means actually I should... I should make sure that for once we will actually get this one in first. And now it's that night time, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, this is on the third one, so it's actually 13 tiles over. 13 tiles into the next. And we're out of range for the builds. And uh, there. Make sure that this is at one up. It is good. Let's build the rest of it because we want to make sure that things do not start working without having proliferators in. So let's get this one proliferator row. And I have checked that all of these designs do leave space enough for this one to be built. And I'll build one more. That's still not the Dyson Sphere Builder, although it is a cool build as well. And then we build it. And we do meticulously check that it is correct. It looks correct. And then this goes in as well. Connect it. That means the proliferation actually comes in first in this case. Great. All right. Um, that is great. All of these things are locally requested. The only thing we have a bit of locally is a bit of processors. So we'll just get those in. We're not producing any of the Dyson Sphere components. Uh, but they will be then put in. So at this point, if we look at it, then we need to, we need to make processors, we need to make, need to make the frame materials, and we need to make the uh, the solar sails as well. So that's that's going to be next. So this is now two times sixteen point eight. So it's taking, it's actually thirty three point seven five, and I need thirty two. So this is good. We've done all of that we need. Now let's look at this one. Then it gets a bit more, uh, uh, yeah, complicated when it comes to the calculations. But the thing is that in order for us to make the make this 16, 16 here, then we need three times as many minus the productivity. So it's actually I need seventy six point eight needed. You can do the math. I've done it a few times and had a few other people check my math, and I think we're good on this one. That means I need 76.8. Now that's a lot of those frame materials. And then, so we'll take a look at what we have. And I'm gonna do this, uh, there'll be less design, but these designs, uh, if, as you can see, 
I'm looking at it. I go like, isn't that exactly what we've done before? And that's exactly the reason why. Now you can see why I'm, I'm deciding not to redesign everything because every design here is pretty much the same standard, which is I, I think that's a good thing. Uh, once you, I did uh, once uh, back in the days of the beginning of Dyson Sphere, I made a video that became quite popular called Five Designs to Rule the World or something like that. Uh, they are still pretty good, those design ideas. Ooh, range utilization, thank you for that. And it's basically how things still work. And now it's just, they're just different because I need the proliferation in, inbound on, on this. There. And I will go all the way up. Thank you. Auto save. Get. It's starting to take a bit of time with the auto save, but that's totally fine. Totally expected. And let's get this one in before we get more stuff in. These are all requesting off world, so they will just be uh, requested in immediately. Perfect. Uh, we'll also start running out. So this is coming in off world. My rule is if it's off world, then it's 10,000, unless it's something that's really high demand, such as uh, deuterium for the deuterium fuel or hydrogen for casimir crystal, that kind of thing. This is full max 20,000. Otherwise, 20, 10,000 with the inbounds. Uh, let's do that as well. I can also, I know I have a few of these stacked up, so I'll just do that one. Can I, can I actually just, yeah, I'll do this first. Then I can do that. We'll take the 10,000 I know I have stored locally first. What if I could do the same thing for that? Uh, then the next point is doing the same thing again. Uh, because this one is only building, let's see, on the design. It says 26.25. Yeah, that's not enough. So we're going to have a few of these. They are all 27 deep. And now we're starting to run out of everything. First thing we're going to be checking is in here. Oh yeah, it's already here. Uh, you will be local demand. And you will probably also be local demand in this case. So let's get the local demand in. And once the local demand is saturated, that's about as much as we can get, I guess. Then I can also just switch this one up. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, I don't know what happened. Yeah. There. This is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to get it from off-world. So let's get that. And I have, uh, luckily, I have prepared up here for vast quantities of builds that we need. know we need to build. So we'll continue to do this and we can continue to feed into our build. Let's have a look at the build over here as it is uh, processing. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll build. Oh, I get. I, how do I forget this all the time? I need to need to get this one first. And then from here. Into this location. We will have some that are not proliferated correctly to begin with, but that's... That's okay. Yeah, and now this time, I will remember to do this first, I think. Yep, that's built, and I will build the last of these three, because three of these will be exactly enough, and then, well, slightly more, at least, producing 78.75, and I need 76.8, so slightly more than I uh, I need is being produced, which is exactly what you want, and all of these designs are just absolutely crisp, in my opinion at least, on how close they are to, uh, to taking up the space, in both in terms of sort of using one third of a planetary sector and using the full length of the planetary sector. So we've been a bit lucky that 20 per second for that is actually turns out to be so crisp designs, but not entirely lucky. There's also a big element of having good intuition about the size of these things. All right, and we are also going to put in more of this so that we can get it in. Uh, Warpers, yeah, they're coming in as well. Warpers are coming in. Do I still have this one feed locally? Yeah, sure. I mean, if I have it locally, then sure. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. Build it. Send them out. 
And then let's go back over on the other side here. And just watch that they are being produced. Everything that we go in here will be shipped off to the next one. Everything we build here will be shipped off. Things are working. Uh, carbon nanotubes is not doing as great as we would have hoped. That is uh, totally understandable. But it's also something that... Yeah, we'll just need to tap a few more and build some more production of the carbon nanotube. I don't think it, I've built it enough for the scale we're working at at this point. You are... Getting 4,000. I'm pretty sure those 4,000 are now external. Yes, they are. Great. All right. The only thing we're missing at this point for the Dyson Sphere components is now making the solar sails. And uh, solar sails, that's also something we prepared. Again, solar sails, I need 76.8 solar sails because it has to match the other ones. And luckily, solar sails is a quite effic efficient build, effective build. So we can build this one. And I did it again. Run away. I was considering whether I should do this in advance, just making this one, but I was like, nah, it's, it makes sense to build it as we move along, just, uh, and I'll remember it, of course I'll remember it. Oh, this one actually looks like it's in a different place, or it's misblind. No, it's definitely in a different place. There, definitely in a different place, good. And I'll go here and here, and then I'll also do local demand and local demand. We don't apparently have any of that locally demanded. And we'll set out here. It's also an important thing. I've set the cargo stack for all the things that don't need higher cargo stack. I set that limited. Now, continuing down this rabbit hole, we need to make some photon combiner and we need to make some graphene in order to get that working. So photon combiner is a smaller build, I think photon combiner here and in this case I am going to use for this photon combiner build did I do it again I did it again it's unbelievable that you would think that after missing it so many times I would remember start remembering it nope um, photon combiner is also really weird because it also needs green circuits and I just don't have green circuits in this case in this build so we're gonna have to make a small green circuit build at some point as well when we find a bit of space and time for it. And then you can go in there. And I need to make sure that we get all of this inbound. And we are now requesting the optical grading crystal from offsite. We do have a tiny bit on this planet, don't we? No, nothing at this planet. So it's just requested offsite. And we, the green or the circuit boards are just requested locally because we want to build them here, but I don't have them. Um, that is not taking much space. It's only 13 deep. And then the last one is the build over here for chemical plants. There you are, graphene. The graphene is one thing that I am not going to be proliferating because, well, it's just graphene. It's dirt cheap. And that looks correct. So, this is getting built. And, oh, I was about to say, and now I forgot again. But at this time, I didn't forget it because it was not, well, I did forget it. But it's not supposed to get in here, actually. There. So, uh, you are definitely getting there. This will be supply, not demand. And we're going to go send out here. So with this one built, we are going to get a production of graphene and a production of uh, photon combiner. Not actually photon combiner because we do know that we uh, we need them somewhere. And I'd like to build it up here that we have a tiny build for that. But I don't know exactly where I want it because it depends on how much space all the other things take. So I want to build all the rest of it first. And then that will sort of be the last thing that sort of triggers the whole thing to start working. These are building and we are going to get in trouble in order to keep enough carbon nanotubes inbound. But we'll get it, we'll get it. And here we're not making solar sails. That is known and that's the stuff that holds up everything at this point. Also Deuterion is holding us up. So Deuterion is holding us up and then uh, solar sails. So let's build processors because that's not holding us up. Processors. We need 76.8 and I need some kind of module builds for this. And I do have prepared a module for it. 
it is here. This is processed at 21 per minute. And I could build it long and then it would be 36. Then it would be only two of these, but I'm building it slightly smaller. Now we have to remember, we're not actually building it. We have to build it sort of from here and then go one, two up, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's on that line. And I'm going to build the same thing again. I wonder if I can do... Nope. Can I do that? No, I can't. Processors here. And they will now be built on that line. This will be getting more and more. And nothing is powered yet, so nothing is coming in. But they are being produced here, or they are being set, shipped in. Interesting how they... Oh, okay, so something is missing from this blueprint. I think I'm missing the little one behind here. Yeah, seems reasonable. And you are going to need also some of that. I can't believe we still have enough materials left, but it's going to be running out soon. And then the next part is the question of where is the next intersection? We can do up here. We can do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three and one, two, three. So those are the planetary sectors intersections. Uh, we have one there. We have one there. So this is the place for it. And then we, that's pretty good. We can build another one pretty simply. I'm wondering if I should take this build instead. It's just easier at this point, right? Because it'll help me this uh, match it in correctly because it can then be matched by using this one for matching the wireless power tower as long as that's on this line and we're now running out of everything that is totally expected what we're running out of okay first of all that but soon we'll run out of all the other things so what this is it's 21 for each of these and this is now times four so 21 times four is 80 21 times four is 84 yes that is what it what we are doing that one we'll take half of that we'll take half of that we'll take half of that that should keep us going for a bit more now these ones are not proliferated because it's just basic resources that we are needing and i don't care about those to be perfectly honest so with this one done that should also be good you can see science is not working in there but we have a constant production of Rockets, it's time for us to start making some cool design for science because I want to have a science planet that does a certain number and then I want to copy that science planet to multiple times so we can really scale up to some absolute absurd numbers. There, all done. Now the next, that means we now have, uh, we now have the processors and the processors goes into the Dyson Sphere components together with the solar sails that we don't have so we are missing just a tiny thing for the solar sails uh, i am thinking that this one is a good place to build the solar sail uh, the the remaining one because i have a tiny little build here i only need how much do i need i need 18 or something so it's like nothing i i need basically nothing here but it does take up a bit of space so i'm gonna build this teeny tiny thing here again i'm not bothering proliferation with these kind of things here so get some copper, get some iron inbound. Once you have that, make it into greens. The greens, when they're built, they will be shipping off to the other locations. Let's have a look and see if our production here is working. Everything is inbound. Oh, wow. This is just perfect timing coming in here. That is a lot of busy stuff coming in. Yeah, si uh, the charging is not going to keep up right now. But on the grand scheme of things, if you look at it, we have plenty of power because on this planet I have the small, the first iteration of the, the solar receiver and I can just add more rings on this one if I need more. This is great. It's working. This one, almost there. And it'll work, start working soon enough. As soon as this one goes out then it'll ship out one more. There. Okay. Right. So we need to get started on the next one. That is... Processors. Processors are going to be a bit tricky as well to churn fuel. In s we need 64 because over here, this is producing 16. And 
or it's producing 20, but that means it needs input for 16. 16 times 4 is 64, so I need 64 inbound here. I have, surprise, surprise, prepared a bit in advance, a deuterium fuel build here. This is going to be a monster because we need, uh, it needs so much deuterium that I had already also have to, uh, oh, uh, that one can't be there. Uh, that I need to, hold on, I don't trust that. Yeah, uh, I have already tapped a few extra planets around uh, just a random gas giants here and there just to make sure that it's uh, it's available. All right, can I figure out where I'm supposed to go? Um, it's really difficult. It's gonna be on this line and it's gonna be here. I think. Sure. Let's go in and check. It is on that line and it is on the middle line. Perfect. It's good placement. We're going to put stuff in here. We're going to put stuff in there. And warpers are coming in. A lot of the children is coming in. That is excellent to see that. And that will produce some of this. I will build it one more time. That's another big build. And this will be producing, since each of these is two per 12 seconds, then I can consider it one per six seconds. So since these are four, and they're producing at 1.5, then now we could, I can say that's gonna be one, two, and so on and so forth. So this is 20 deep, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's 20 deep. So each column will be one. So 20 plus 20 here, that's 40 per second. And then we're gonna have to double this again to make it up to next one. Unfortunately, this is the line, so it has to go all the way over to that one, but that's okay. Uh, did I put... Nope, I did not put things in here, so you need to go in there as well. We're getting lots of nice deuterium coming in. We are not getting enough uh, titanium alloy. That is really weird with the titanium alloy, though. We do have something local. Good. Ah, that I know why. It's been because we do have it produced, we just don't have it produced... Uh, high enough quantity, like the buffer is not big enough. It's big enough to support it, but it's not big enough to uh, yeah. Yeah, it's big enough to support the production rate, but not big enough to support all of the uh, the inputs for the uh, for the buffers that I need here. So that's why we good that we have a local buffer as well. I'm going to stamp this one down and please let it be correct. Is it? It looks very much correct. And we're running out of 700 and something. I love the fact that we're running out. That's so glorious. That one's running out. That one's running out, maybe. Or oh, that one's running out. Look at how little we have left of anything in this build. Uh, these are not proliferated, by the way, as you can probably see. All the stuff up here is not proliferated. And the reason why it's not proliferated is because... Um, this one takes 20 deuterium, and deuterium is something I can get pretty well. And that would be a massive amount of production. A massive amount of... Right, uh, okay, so for each of these, I would need 11 proliferation charges just to get one. And I just don't feel that's worth it. Maybe you feel it's worth it. That's totally up to you. I don't feel it's worth it, so I didn't do it. Uh, we are going to make sure that this goes in, and over here, this goes in as well. So now we have everything in. We should be starting to make some... At least I'll also... Oops, I'll also... Oh, come on. Request local. Request local. This has the same problem of uh, filling up local buffers as well. That is done. Does that mean that everything is... Uh, is ready? Uh, kind of. Isn't it? There. We'll put these local as well because I do have some local demand as well. Let's see. This one is now having uh, carbon nanotube issues. That is to be expected, but that's kind of beside the point at this point, uh, because that's something we consider a base material. And that means what we need to do is we need to find a location that we will then go, you know what? You have some spiny form. I can't remember where, but I think I had somewhere that I had some spiny form. Let me just have the look that I found recently. Hmm. There, over at this location. This one. There, we have some spiny form. So that needs to be converted as well into something better, uh, into something carbon nanotubes that we can then ship out here as well. But that's a simple build that uh, I'll just take care of whenever it feels right. 
let's have a look at make sure that everything is flowing again this is going to be our ma main issue this is flowing but not as well as we'd like why not that's nah, actually okay we're getting all the stuff it's just that this was one of the last things to uh, to, to fill up graphene is fine you are keeping up because the whole thing is producing so that's good and this one should also be producing it is barely running out or almost running out but not quite everything is produced slightly over capacity here as well every time this goes out and I think that's primarily because it needs to fill up a large buffer of that see now there's a problem with carbon energy coming in yeah that's definitely a thing that we need to fix but that will definitely also be for another time here we get the solar sails what I could do just to trigger it right now just to do that I don't think they'll fly back once they're already en route because they're not coming here they're not going out empty if they go out empty and you cancel it then they will be coming back but if I do this one now I think they're still inbound because they have left and they're not going to be returning to their origin with the cargo I'm not sure that's something worth uh, worth testing but here they're coming in this one is filling up apparently for some reason this one is filling up first so you get a lot more I'll just put it in here so that we can have both of them just working a bit more making ninja stars and look at this just the last two are not working why not is everything not working or is it just a oh it's it is working it's just it's gonna take a while to get all the way down to the end of the line with all of these builds and let's see I actually I think they might be consuming 32 so I think I want to make sure that this one is actually stacking too there we go if it's stacking too then uh, it'll work better let's see if it works better now it's much better to keep the this one online or keep it flowing it's a bit more star star storage on belt but it's not a more storage in terms of sort of consumption at all and you can see here every time 2000 is built then it will be shipped out as we hit uh, 4000 then we will see uh, either a orange one or we'll just see it being deleted if one of these are flying out we are keeping up with quantum chips for now but eventually quantum chips will run out as we are also running out of carbon nanotube so those are some of the things we want to fix next time or between the sessions i'll be also i'm also streaming this on twitch so sometimes some of these things uh, we do on uh, uh, between sessions and between recordings is actually something i do on twitch so if you want to be part of sort of the more comprehensive of doing seeing all of it happening then come on over to twitch it's i'm streaming this monday wednesday and friday at 8 p.m central european time and it's uh, super fun we just have a good time hanging out building and designing and cool things so uh do come on over if you have the time otherwise you can also watch the vods from the uh, from the streams if you want that's on my secondary channel called needles tv there's a link in the description below and of course there'll be more episodes of this as i continue to scale up and uh, uh, yeah get this to a really big mega base and get all the remaining achievements as well thank you very much for watching i hope you are enjoying it if you are be sure to hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel uh, so that you can keep up with all of the hopefully interesting content that's coming. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.